Hey guys, Aaron and Dusty and Max and Bo is hiding out back here. We are all hiding out in the basement because it's no joke 100 degrees outside and super humid. So we thought we'd take the time today to film a, a quick video to show you our favorite baby things and stay tuned till the very end. We actually have a epic baby and kid friendly and parent friendly recipe for you guys. Okay, you guys, so this is probably our favorite baby item, if you will. This was the first thing we put on our registry, and thank you, Mom, for getting it for us. It's this Thule <laughs> jogging stroller. We use it, what, at least two or three times a day, whether we're taking it for walks to the market or just in the evenings we take walks. So anyway, we love this thing. It's got a swivel wheel, it locks in front, it's got shocks in the back, it's got like a big trunk here for all of our produce, and it actually also has this optional little case for like phones, water. We've got all of our diapers and wipes down underneath, market bags full of fresh greens, and another thing that didn't come with this little extra add-on is this quad lock, and I love it for my phone. This is actually what we bought for our bikes. It's really easy to pop on and off, but we put it on the stroller. We'll link this below. It's on our Amazon store if you guys are interested. So this is a set that we bought on Amazon. This is the Evenflow, and we actually love this too, except we don't use it nearly as much. We do love Max's car seat. The base of it is like secured permanently in my car, and Dusty has a base in his truck too, and you just literally snap it in, snap it out. There's no buckling and unbuckling, so it's really quick and slick. And it also came with an infant insert that was in here that Max already grew out of that kept him more secure when he was a newborn. So we used this in the dead of winter, this uh, bassinet style. We would bundle him up in like a thousand blankets and there was a ton of room and we could ooh and ah at our new baby. But what we quickly realized with the Thule Urban Glide is that any type of front facing stroller is gonna be a lot better for your little baby because it gives them that mental stimulation. Max loves it when we go on our long nature walks. He just loves to observe everything around him, the people, the trees, the plants, the animals. It's just super interactive for him. So that's why we really love this stroller. Even though we don't use this one as much, we still do love this car seat. This one is also linked on our Amazon store. One nice thing is if you do want your baby facing you, this comes off and the car seat pops in this. So you can literally just grab the car seat out of your car and pop this into the stroller if you wanna make it really quick and simple. But honestly, we've preferred just unbuckling Max and bringing the Urban Glide with us. So one of our other favorites is this Juvie Spoon. Now it is a wheeled walker. It's got a little tabletop. It comes off, which is super helpful now that he's basically smearing bananas and avocados all over the place, but he loves this thing. He has so much energy now and he never wants to be sitting still. And this <laughs> thing, he can go, go, go. It actually has adjustable heights too. So as he grows, you can bring it up. It's super affordable on Amazon. Again, we will link that below. So another awesome Amazon find is this retractable baby gate. So it doesn't always have to be in your way, which is super nice now that Max is not just standing in his walker, he's actually walking around the kitchen in it. We decided we're all about aesthetics. Let's not buy a bunch of tacky, crazy baby stuff. Instead, we're like, let's go clean, white, simple, because there are tons of little play sets you can get with all kinds of bells and whistles. But honestly, folks, these are Max's favorite toys, kitchen utensils. So we've got a bamboo spoon, and then this is just a pot holder. So Grandma Lisa actually got us these, and they're awesome. It came as a set of like five or six. We'll link them below and they feel so awesome and it's really easy for him to hold on to without swallowing or getting too much of in his mouth. Dual functionality, everybody wins, mom and baby. So again, on the note of being aesthetically pleasing, we found like the only pretty grayish white pack and play that we could find on Amazon. It's Baby Joy, linked below. So we'll just kind of plop his basket of toys in there and eventually he'll kind of make his way army crawling over pour it out and kind of take his pick and that keeps him entertained 
for quite a while. And done with tummy time, he's usually worn himself out. He'll have a quick snack and then it's time for a nap. So the four moms Mama Roo to the rescue. This space age crazy device has been his favorite since day one. I will say it's getting a little bit crazy now that he's more mobile and <laughs> you can kind of <laughs> see. <laughs> that being said, this thing usually relaxes him and kind of puts him to sleep. So it's a great way to contain him while I'm chopping meals. It's awesome. You turn it on and it's got car ride, kangaroo, tree swing, rockabye, and wave. You can go through the different various motions. You can crank up the speed. And it also has different white noise sounds. So our favorite is ocean. Go figure. So these you can find all over Etsy. They're again super aesthetically pleasing and you can pick different charms and stuff. So what I ended up doing was asking Dusty to make one for Max, which he did. And then I just ordered these on Etsy and Max loves it. Oh, there we go, bud. So we just popped into Max's nursery really quick to show you guys his crib. So this is by Baby Leto. Again, the white, the neutral, it's our style. We love it. He loves it. And you can um, raise and lower this as he grows so he doesn't just topple right out. So this is another sound machine that we love. We love the noise it makes. Max loves the noise. It sounds like actual birds. The other day when Dusty turned it on for the first time, I actually was like, there's a lot of birds making sounds right now, but it was actually this thing. It's by Hatch Baby. Okay guys, so this is a two in one. The Halo Bassinet and this Hatch Baby changing station and scale. We have actually put that inside here and it just doubles. We never actually have slept Max in the bassinet. So again, we just use it as a changing station. If we're in the shower or hanging out here, he can still be around and watch us. And he loves this thing. He can play around and we can be sure that he's not gonna crawl out or fall out. And so yeah, again, we didn't use it for sleeping. He actually sleeps with us, which is what we're gonna show you next. Okay, so Dusty mentioned that we do not actually sleep Max in his bassinet or in his crib yet. We just feel more comfortable co-sleeping. So there is a lot of debate over whether it's safe or not and your doctor is going to recommend or advise against it. So don't take our advice necessarily, but this is just what works for us. This is the co-sleeper we started out with. This one is the Snuggle Me Organic. It is ridiculously soft. When Max was a newborn and for about the first three to four months, he slept in this anywhere we would lay him down. And we have since then upgraded to another one that we love. This is the Daka Tot and they have all kinds of funky patterns and prints, which is kind of cool. The reason we love this one is because it has this open end so you can clip it if you want your baby to be contained but because Max is so long now we leave it open-ended like that and this keeps him from rolling into our space where we sleep so it keeps him safe. A couple reasons why we prefer co-sleeping. Number one, we sleep better knowing that Max is safe and sound. If there's any bumps or thumps or thuds or hiccups in the night we can rest assured that he's safe and sound right next to us. Number two is breastfeeding. So at first I lost a lot of sleep, waking up in the middle of the night, propping myself up, feeding Max. I tried for like maybe two nights grabbing him out of the bassinet. It just wasn't working. So now what I do is what's called dream feeds. And a dream feed is where Max is still essentially sleeping. But if I roll him out of the co-sleeper, I'll show you how it works. I can roll him out and he will breastfeed and it's usually the best quality breastfeeding sessions that I get in because he's calm, he's not distracted by other things going on around, it's just quiet, it's peaceful and usually while he's feeding I'm somewhat in some sort of dream state too. I'm like half awake, half asleep so I just feel like it's more streamlined and effortless for everybody. And we love our body pillows so it's like five of us in bed. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so this is the Boppy pillow. It's probably the most well-known and recognized breastfeeding pillow. So this one's nice because it wraps around your waist. In all honesty, I don't use these anymore. They were more beneficial when Max was a teeny tiny baby and we were working on that latch and I needed something to kind of raise him up closer to my breast without breaking my back or taxing my arms. So it was really nice early on for the first three or four months and I could just rest him like this. So this is another breastfeeding pillow that's equally as awesome 
and I actually adopted this one shortly after the boppy. It's from Baby Olay. The nice thing is it's a little bit taller and it has both a really plush side and a firm side. Both work great. I preferred the firm side. And again, it's really great when your baby's tiny. It just gives your arms and your back a break. Okay, you guys, so one of Max's favorite things is this Jolly Jumper. And it's hard to get him in it, it's hard to get him out of it, but it is so worth it. He loves this thing, and we think it's so good for his legs. And like we said before, he has a blast. So we highly recommend the Jolly Jumper. Our pediatrician actually recommended it. We love it. Okay guys, it is bath time. So first we want to talk about these little Pudge Baby Essentials. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, Pooch Baby. It doesn't matter, they both rock. This is a little faucet protector so baby doesn't bonk his head. But this folds down flat, stows away super easily, and if I can get it folded, all of a sudden it becomes a little teeny tiny bathtub that fits right in your sink. Super soft, super easy, stows away. We highly recommend this Pudge Baby. And now that Max is getting to be a big boy, we now use this Snuggle. So yes, he's got his toys in here already, and it's got a little butt pad for them to sit on so he doesn't just whoo, slide right out. So we do have a bathtub in our hallway bathroom, but we've just found that it's easiest if one of us plops Max in here while the other one is finishing up their shower and we let him splash around for a little bit and explore the world of liquid. Um. You a little confused without the water, bud? <laughs> and finally, you guys, as promised, we've got a kid-friendly and mom and dad friendly avocado banana smoothie. For ingredients, folks, all you're gonna need are two frozen ripe speckled bananas, a quarter to a half of an avocado, a handful of either spinach or chard. This is hand-picked chard from our garden. And our favorite, a half scoop of Sun Warrior Vanilla Warrior Blend. We love it because it makes all of your smoothies just a little bit more sweetly satisfying. Protein is going to keep you fuller longer. And of course, because we've got a special discount code for you guys. Check it out in the link below for 20% off. You'll also be needing one to two cups of a liquid of your choice. We're just using water. Almond milk would also be a great option. If you guys like this video, if you want more parenting stuff, more mama and baby stuff, more baby Max, maybe some day in the life of Bo, just let us know what you guys like, what you want to see more of. Pop it in the comments below, leave us some love. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you join the Eat Move Rest fam. And as always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps our channel out. You can catch us daily on Instagram, at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik. We are posting daily there with recipes, fitness tools, tips and tricks, and more. Thanks for watching, guys. Eat, move, rest, your best.